Hey, my name is Polly Hart, and uh, we're working on some wood today. So I'm going to teach you how to remove scratches from your uh, natural wood. So I've got a, so I've got a uh, nice scratched banister. Some beautiful woodwork, though. So I have two products that I would like to recommend to you today. Number one is Roberts. Wood laminate and vinyl putty fills in gaps and nicks, and this is a dark brown. And number two is DAP plastic wood, stainable, paintable, boom, can be molded. All right, so that's good. I have done some work on the steps. Now these, this whole stringer here, um, <clears throat> the step has been redone, and you can see that's that plastic wood stuff. Uh, let's see. There's some of the uh, filler, and I'll go over it again. So all these staple holes. Now the back, we had to actually put in toe kick. This is actually toe kick. So I'll show you on the other side here. So I had to remove this piece and bring it to the right quarter inch so I could line it up here so that could match there. All sorts of nicks and dings. But uh, we're going to be restaining that to bring it to that golden luster, that reddish feel. And this is a new piece again. And I'll. That's a bad nail job. Hmm. I'll fix that. Okay. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what I'm working on. Beautiful staircase. And it's actually kind of a uh, overhang. So it's got a nice little landing there. And <laughs> this. Rod right here is my my best buddy right here. So I'll repaint that black. I've got two rods actually. So cat scratches, dog scratches, um, rabid wolverines, whatever you've got going on. Here's the the bad news. Bad news. Look at that nastiness. Thanks, Anya. <laughs> she was a, a lady we let stay here, and she had cats that destroyed it. Mmm, delicious. You should see my boogers. Okay. So let's go ahead and we're going to touch this up. And what I've got going on, I just got this nasty old rag, but it's working for me. I'm going to show you a spot. We're going to get the old Roberts filler. And there's better stuff out there. This is just the, the, the one that I've used the most. And uh, I know how it works. So there's not a lot of um, filling ability, but it does darken up quite nicely. So we're just going to do that. And I'm going to get my spot where I've been working. Where is it? Here it is. Got my finger on the other side. Focus. Focus. There we go. Just one finger. And this is just how I do it. I'm gonna bring it in. And smear it around. Filling in all those little, all the little, little holes. Now quick as a whip, you gotta grab a new spot on your rag and wipe it off. Okay, so they're almost filled in. I'm gonna get another application on it later, and then uh, we will go ahead and restain. But unless you want to sand this whole thing by hand, I mean, I would not recommend a sander. Oh yeah, there's my floor work. That's the plastic wood on the floor here. Unless you want to sand the whole thing by hand. Because you, you've got these little ridges and whatnot to take care of. Um, and it might not be a bad idea to go ahead and do some of that sanding by hand. But you've got to match that stain, buddy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that Robertson on, on there. And if it's a big hole, the plastic wood, uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and bring it down level. After that, I'm going to go ahead and get the best stain that I can match. And you have two choices on stain. 
mini wax. And don't ever use that gel crap. I mean, if you know what you're doing, then it's okay. Ignore me. But uh, you got mini wax, you got varathane. I'll show you what I'm using. So varathane is good stuff. I'm using early American. And that's the closest that I could get. Now this has one coat of early American, a second coat of early American, and then uh, should bring me to closer to this. The lighting is not especially good, so please forgive me. But we're getting close. We're getting pretty close to this. So this will match this, hopefully. I might have to mix and match and find a more red, redder tint. But uh, you've got to get creative. So yeah, so there we go. Mixing and mashing. Mixing and mashing. Matching. Uh, but that's a lot of wood, man. And I want to show you some other stuff. This whole house has this wood going on. A lot of it's got sawdust on it. But I've got this pocket door here. I had to get up there. And I'm going to have to restain it before we show the house just because I've got tiny little pieces. But that's early American. And I'll just go over it again to get that stain the same. But I, this whole house is woodwork. It's just beautiful woodwork, you know? Let me show you the fireplace. My <laughs> messy tools. There's probably heart. So here we go. Got that reddish luster. Then I've got this other, and I don't even know what this is yet. I've used early American. Actually, on this one, I used gun stock. Let's see, yeah, I used this is, yeah, this is it. This is gun stock. But that's mini wax. We used Varathane gun stock, which is a lot better. So we have to return that mini wax gun stock. Yeah. A couple of spots. I mean, I can get a nail punch. Oh, I didn't know that one's there. But, uh, and I've got to sand some spots. And I've got to fill it in. I've got to dust it. Clean it up. But there you go. So that's uh, that's how I'm working it. Um, because you, you don't want those little white marks. You know. Anything to, to, to make it as close as possible. Just use your best judgment. Mixing stains uh, works wonders. Let's go take a look at that again. Been several minutes. Yeah, I could probably go over it again. You know what, though? From here to here, I might sand this round. Heck, I might even sand in this groove. That's just so bad. That's not as bad because the cats are afraid of falling. I don't blame them. Well, so do I want this off colored or do I want it scratched and coated? It's a tough call. You're going to have to figure it out on your own. Anyway, that's what I'm using Robertson's wood laminate and vital putty, and then DAP plastic wood. DAP is a good, good company. As a matter of fact, I use their stuff a lot. I've got to finish out couple of things today. The staircase being priority. Got to paint, sand and paint a little bit. And uh, this would work. I had to redo all this stuff. I've got to get another piece to match here. Got to cut this out. These little mortise sets, man. But this is almost trimmed. Almost. I like that floor trim. <laughs> Floor trim, great. More woodwork. Oh, let me show you one more thing. I was working with the wood. Here we go. This little vent here giving me some problems. So yesterday I got the grinder and I took this off, zipped that down so it fits. But it's the problem. If I put this bottom piece with it, it's too tall. This way, yeah, this way. If I put the bottom piece with it, it's too tall, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it off. Oh, that guy fell. 
But, uh, yeah. Oh, one more thing I gotta show you with the wood. Yeah. Staple gun. Alright. From this direction, see this beautiful floor trim? Beautiful trim, beautiful trim. And you can tell, can't you? That is not that. That's actually from the closet we just came from. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with the closet yet, but I had to create this corner, well this outside and this inside corner from the other wood. <laughs> you can see it there too. Hopefully, they're not gonna know this for a long time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I thought maybe I could put a piece of backer board underneath it, but the, I tried and I, I, I should have bought maybe poplar or oak and stained it and then I could have got it to the right height but you'll just have to forgive me that's what's going on there I'm not gonna change it these little dudes they make the room look interesting more stain is needed but uh, yeah here we go sand that off stain it why is that loose that's not good now the more you fiddle the more you find Okay, nails. Oh, yeah. Okay, so each of these pieces of wood, see that gap right there? Um, I've had problems because this is a plaster house. I mean, obviously it's plaster, you know. Uh, here we go. Plaster. Yay, plaster. So unless you want to put either rip, rip it all out and gut it, or you can just put a quarter inch drywall on top of it. But I uh, decided just to patch it and move on. See that waffle effect? Waffle, waffle. Now here's what I was gonna show you. This guy right here is a combination of wood putty and sawdust. And I had to put it up there because just like upstairs, this was separating. So I did everything I could to bring this back that way and to bring that back that way, to bring that top down and tighten it all up, but I was still having uh, plaster falling on me from here. So the plaster leaking on me, that wasn't cool. So you can't really see up there, but uh, the plaster is a little bit loose right there. So uh, I could have taken the whole thing down, taken it all off, brought it out, and then fixed the line with drywall and then put it back. Instead, I did what I could Got it all the loose plaster. Um, that's caulk. That's a caulk job up there. I'm not sure if you can see that. It still needs work. It still needs a little work. But, uh, man, I'll tell you. you see the nails? Extra nails. <laughs> I've got to stain them. But in order to get the plaster to stop falling on my head, man. Because, you know, the house could be beautiful, but if you've got leaky plaster, well, that's not good. I see something silly. Oh. <laughs> uh, mm. There's some stencil work that my wife decided for me to do. You like how I phrased that? The other side is the kitchen. And uh, it's just painted it blue. This is all what's called Vals, um, not Valspar. Uh, yeah, Valspar. Valspar Ghost Ship. Ghost Ship, it's a, uh, and this is just uh, feathers my wife got from Sherman Williams. Oh, there it is. Feathers. That's the white. I'm using a different white for the bathroom in the entryway. I've got to stain this dude. I created this thing yesterday. Here's some more scratches on this guy right here. Full of sawdust and drywall. But I might take this piece off of this door because it's a nice door. You know, I've got some ornate woodwork to it. But uh, more stain is needed on this guy. You 
can actually see daylight through there too. Where is it? Can you see it? There it is. Right there. So I put this up. This is all new woodwork. And I'm gonna put new flooring down. This is my basement access. Uh, yeah, hard to figure out how to put up trim. So again, I used toe kick. I haven't I haven't popped it down yet, but it's just a it's a full basement. So sorry, that must have deafened you. Yeah, yeah. This is a bright white. This is a brilliant, pure bright white by Valspar again. It's the whitest I could get. I think I'm using a Season Flex outside white. Yeah, Season Flex. And Polly didn't prime, so this is obviously leaking through that brown. But uh, caulk and paint, caulk and paint. My woodwork in this room um, was dastardly. So because of the animals, again, they got up on there. They put their little claws right there. So I've stained it once. I'm going to come through and stain it again. And due to deferred maintenance, I had some problems up here with water. Um, yeah, I need new windows. So this is just going to get stained and polyurethane again. All these pieces I had taken off so I could paint. And there's my bathroom door. Good door. Still got that mortise stuff going on. So, and I had to paint this white. This has an interesting configuration because it's a, it's a narrow bathroom. So, there's the bathtub and then the toilet around the corner. But we um, had to fix the coloration. My painter that we hired did it backwards, so she painted it yellow and white. That didn't make the tub look good at all. So now that we have the yellow here, the tub looks better. It's a creamy green for some reason. But I've sprayed it with Lime Away, and I've got some Iron Out and some Clorox bleach. Just gonna get that those uh, crusties off. Oh, and then I picked up some color matching caulk. Sorry, silicone, color matching silicone. And I'm going to hit this rim, this uh, little seam there. And that should be it. This is Alex Plus by DAP. Alex Plus is a good um, product because it's got silicon in it. It's also paintable, which is amazing. Alex Plus is amazing. Yeah, so that's a little tour of the woodwork of the house. And what I've done. Oh, man. The floor is another story altogether. I can't remember the name of this. Kona, I think it was. And this is real, I mean, when it's clean, this is super dark and this isn't that dark. So this wood here matches that wood there. And it looks tr just crazy brilliant. So beautiful. But um, yeah, we decided to go ahead and do the floors out before we finished everything else. So that might have been a mistake. But whatever, I'll fix it. I've got these little nice little whoosh, whoosh. can't think of the name blinds and shades and curtains and whatnot mm -hmm. beautiful work this was interesting because it was here before I got here so I don't know I'm just gonna leave it but yeah there's lots of random tiny little nicks and dings you know so take care of your wood and your home will be a beautiful home. Uh, this is polyurethane that's been dried on by age. It's just dripped and dried. Shouldn't have done that, but it did. And then this is a piece not original to the house, but we decided to keep it because it kind of looks okay. Those are new sconces my wife decided to put in. So, blame her for how pretty it was. <laughs> But it looks pretty cool. Good job, honey. 
Mm -hmm. Obviously, the three coloration, not too fond of that. So I'm gonna have to stain it again. When I go ahead and stain over stain, um, since the floor has already been stained in polyurethane, I can go ahead and use this, uh, again, the early American, and go ahead and hit the corners there, and then just wipe it off the floor because it'll come right off that polyurethane. So that'll be nice. Nice. Nice stained glass. Wood on the stained glass is good. The ceiling trim is pretty good. No scratches on there. Yeah, anyway, lots of fun for me today. But I thought I wanted to kind of give you this little brief tour of my woodwork because I am not a woodworker. I'm not a floor finisher. I'm not a stain master. I'm not a carpenter by any means, but I've had to learn because this is my house and I'm trying to get it ready to sell. And so, yeah, it's all about the BRRR method. Are there four R's? Anyway, buy, renovate, rent, refund, re refinance, and repeat. That's, that's interesting. Oh, I wonder, is that from, what is that from? I don't know. Hmm. Stuff like this. Here's a piece. Right? That's not me. I didn't do that. Man, a lot of that's just this gorgeous stuff. And it just hurts me. All those staple holes that I still have to hit. And this seam. I didn't know that split was there. So much work. That's where the old carpet was right there. And you can actually still see the carpet run in the middle. And the step where it's been stepped on so much. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I better quit fiddling around and get back to work, yeah? <laughs> I'm going to have black hands by the end of the day. Oh man, and I gotta get a ladder, put a ladder up here somehow. And I'm gonna take a five and one, a little bit of sandpaper, and get to work on that corner. Cause that just that just bugs me. And the other spot up there on that door that I showed you, where there's just paint on the on the on the wood, it's annoying, you know. Yep, right here. But see, this is one of those areas where nobody's gonna see it. So as I'm walking towards, you know. Obviously, those won't be here. So I'm walking towards it and turning right to go downstairs. I'm never going to see that. Only a little kid's going to see that. Or somebody who walks around like me and says, Oh, I wonder what they did here. But here we go. Right there. That needs to be fixed. And so I does. Where I had those uh, pieces up for the blinds. Hmm. The more you find. All right, well, Polly Art here, and I hope you've had an interesting uh, exploration with me around my home, and uh, I'm gonna get to work right now. See you later.